So, in May 2007, in one of the first briefings I received, I was informed that the SVR project was, and I quote, mothballed in 2000 oh. and, was presented with, and was presented with three options. Option one said that if the Scottish variable rate was applied from April 2008, the implementation would be suboptimal. The yield to Scotland of the Scottish variable rate would be £10 million to £26 million short and would require us to pay further IT costs of £3.4 million to upgrade the system. Option two stated that if the Scottish variable rate was to be applied from April 2009, the first reliable date for implementation, we would be asked to meet IT costs for system upgrades of £2.9 million. Option three the option that I asked my officials to pursue with HMRC recognised that if the SVR was not to be applied during this Parliament, IT costs of £1.2 million would be incurred to ensure a 10-month state of readiness thereafter. Given the fact that this Government, like all of the main parties in this Chamber, had made a commitment not to invoke the tax powers, we considered that this work could be undertaken over the lifetime of this Parliament, enabling political choices to be made in the next Parliament. This information is crucial to today's debate. When this Government came to power, we did not inherit a functional IT system capable of delivering the tax power at 10 months' notice. The £50,000 a year paid by the previous Scottish Executive kept the database of taxpayers up to date, but not the IT system. That would have cost the Scottish taxpayer millions to get back to a condition where it was usable on a 10-month state of readiness. There would have been no point in paying £50,000 per year to update an address book that could not be used. Consequently, in 2007, I took steps to ensure there could be a viable system available for use when this Parliament came to an end.